Hello friends, in this video, I am going to explain about basic building blocks of big data testing. This plays a very important role in quality implementation of platforms and applications in big data. Before starting the session, I would like to quickly introduce about myself. My name is Hamant, working as an engineer in KPro Solutions Private Limited. We are leading provider in data like cloud implementation, IoT, blockchain analytics, machine learning. AI deep learning and mobile application development. So in this session, I would like to give a brief introduction to query research, the automation tool. So before starting the session, I would like to give some few table of contents. Introduction to query search, why query search, accessing the query search, wizards in query search. So Introduction to Query Search Query Search is a leading data solution built specifically to automate the testing of data warehouses. So you, nowadays we are listening the word automation, automation testing, right? Automation testing is a technique uses an application to implement entire life cycle of the software in less time and provides efficiency and effectiveness to the testing software. So query search will automate the big data applications like uh, being a manual tester, we will do some testing, right? Like regression testing. So with this help of this query search, in, by doing it manually, we are doing the all kind of those testing through automation. Next thing is why query search? Easily automate means your manual testing effort for repeatability and speed upping the test it means faster execution will give more time and with that you can cover more tests. Continuous delivery. Continuous delivery makes release earlier and easier. It can help organization become lean, agile, and innovative and provide huge return of investments. Accessing the query search. Query search accessing in two ways, from cloud and from local. So query search can be installed in local environment, should uh, meet the recommended configuration and able to manage big data. When, well accessing when we can access the cloud so otherwise we, we can access the cloud based instance with the proper configuration to carry out our testing query pair widgets so these are the some query pair widgets those are column level comparison table level comparison and row count comparison column level comparison means it uh, validates the data points in selected columns and allows for the addition of filtering and uh, table level comparison validates each data point in source table to its corresponding data point in the target table and row count comparison validates the number of rows in each selected tables so we will uh, have some uh, hands on on co column level comparison so this is the query search uh, URL so this will be provided by the query search team uh, once you registered with your uh, respect to email ID and they will uh, in 15 minutes uh, they will provide this URL and some uh, username password to your registered email ID So this is the uh, home page for the query search. Here you will uh, uh, see many uh, tabs, right? Like uh, design library and uh, configuring agent and creating a connection. So for example, qu uh, query search uh, design library where we can uh, design the query search and uh, configuring an agent means uh, we will install an agent and we will enable uh, agent in query search and 
but creating the connection tab uh, here we will uh, create some connections uh, like external connections from our database uh, and and here this query launcher and these are the uh, last scenario summary and all these tabs are there before starting the query pair or designing a query pair we we need to know what is a query pair means it's a one query that retrieves data from the source file or database and we will to design a query pair click on launch query wizard and uh, click next and uh, select a target connection and uh, click on next select column level comparison and remaining table level and uh, row count comparison we will see in upcoming videos so select the public schema and uh, target schema click on next after that we have to here this is the main thing means creating a table relationship drag and drop the customer into customer dimension means we are creating some relationship between the source and target tables and after that we have to make the relationship between source columns and the target columns okay by default if you saw here uh, here you are seeing you know source query and target query while well, uh, creating the relationship is uh, by default queries has been generating here so so we need to add some filter conditions here source and uh, column will be customer id and after that operation value it should be sort direction and uh, value will be the ascending and uh, similarly for the target we need we need to add a target and column will be here source system and uh, equals x smart x smart and uh, again here we need to add target and uh, source id sort direction Ascending. you may ask uh, how can i know all these things uh, why should we using only source query equals x smart or source system equals x smart source id sort direction ascending you will find out all these things in and what are the filter conditions we need to add and uh, how can we know that the relationship between source and target tables relationship between columns so you will find out in the mapping document which uh, uh, query search has provided so click on next and uh, select a query query to save our and after that the folder name folder name will be the anything i am saying as a demo demo test one so test one click on next so create create to create our query pair and uh, so we created the query pair or we designed our query pair right so we need to ex execute that query pair double click on this one and uh, you will find some design time run here uh, there is a agent and run uh, so click on run so it will start our executing the query pair so the query uh, has successfully executed um, so in this way you can uh, execute the query pairs so as of now uh, we have done with the column level comparison so in this further video we will see uh, how can we do it for row, uh, row level comparison or row count so so you can view the query results here so 
what is the if it is a failure and you will it will mention uh, which, in which column it has failure and uh, you will see the source query and target query and uh, source target source and target data so in this way we will uh, execute the column level comparison we will see the column level comparison in the query search so so these are the topics which we covered um, those are introduction to query search why query search access in the query search and query paid widgets thanks for watching this video you can uh, write the feedback at feedback at kpro.co.in and you can learn more technologies like blockchain cloud data science etl data lake devops big data testing cloud testing by checking our youtube channel thanks for watching this video let's keep learning